This video is sponsored by Dello Heavy Duty Lubricants from Chevron. Visit chevronlubricants.com to learn more. Hi, my name is David Sickles. Welcome to FE on the Road. Many truck drivers have experienced brake fade. Technically, brake fade happens when the condition in which the thermal capacity of the braking system has been exceeded and the system operates at reduced effectiveness. More simply, it's pushing the brake pedal and not having things go the way you expect. Obviously, first and foremost, this is a safety concern. But also from a fleet's perspective, it negatively impacts other operational aspects as well. In some axle combinations, brakes that are fading on a tractor or trailer means other brakes must make up for the work that the faded brakes aren't achieving, shortening the life of those brakes. That can lead to additional downtime and maintenance costs, lowering your ROI. So why does this happen and what can you do about it? When it comes to brakes, heat is the enemy of performance. The hotter a brake gets, the less effective it becomes. In trucking, brake fade is most predominant in drum brakes due to their design. To combat this, some manufacturers are developing wider drum brakes, which dissipate heat more effectively than smaller ones. Specking air disc brakes, or ADBs, is another good option. There are two major reasons why you see brake fade far less often in ADBs, and both are attributable directly to their basic design. First, an ADB's friction and rotor are exposed to much more airflow than the drum and lining, allowing heat to dissipate more quickly. Second, when heat in an ADB system causes thermal expansion of the rotor, it actually brings the rotor and friction in closer contact. By contrast, when a brake drum expands due to heat, it expands away from the friction, meaning the brake shoe must cover a greater distance to generate the stopping power, which is itself a contributor to drum brake fade. ADBs also have less of an impact on tire bead temperatures because their design allows more airflow, providing increased cooling. In some cases, you might see fleets mixing ADBs with drum brake axles, such as ADBs on the front steer axle only, or combinations of tractors with ADBs and trailers with drum brakes. These combinations will yield improved stopping distances and exhibit reduced impacts of brake fade. If you aren't already, get familiar with proven industry braking standards, as well as the science behind friction design and recommendations. This will help go a long way toward making the right choices to meet your fleet's needs and keep your trucks on the road operating safely. For more trucking equipment content, head over to fleetequipmentmag.com. Thanks for watching.